Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Leslie. And if you're not new here, hey girl, welcome back. Let's get right into the video because I don't know how much my little baby is gonna let me do this video. So number one thing that I wanted to talk about is as I show in the video, you're going to be seeing how I freeze and store my breast, how I you know, keep my supply up on how I make a, a freezer stash is with these two guys, you guys. The Hakka's, the Milk Catchers, these things are so amazing. I get mine off Amazon and they actually also come with little lids. So if you find little lids, I would highly recommend them because these things spill like crazy all the time. So how I put these on is you bend them back. I used to just suction them onto my boob and they'd stick there, but they fall off as the milk starts catching in here. So what I do now is I bend it back like this and then I attach it to my boob suction it and then fold this back and it will not go anywhere it just stays on your boobs so when you're breastfeeding your baby put this one on your opposite boob that you're not going to be feeding the baby on because what happens is when you're breastfeeding you get in a letdown of milk when you mean all the milk starting to drain from your body letting it, letting your baby feed but the other boob even though you don't have any no baby on it it's still going to drip and this is going to catch all that milk for you so sometimes you know, you can catch half an ounce, an ounce, sometimes up to four ounces, depending if you, it's been a while since you've breastfed. This is such an easy way without having to do an extra pump or anything like that to catch milk throughout the day. So what I do is just catch it all in here. Oh, my baby. So what I do is just keep catching the milk throughout the day and I put it in a little pitcher in the fridge towards the back of the fridge because that's where it's coldest. So I just put it in here, put this in the fridge with a little lid let it get to cold temperature and then I put it into the pitcher. That way it's the same temperature because you can't do hot with cold because then it will kind of ruin the milk. So I've had the Hacka in the fridge for about two and a half hours. It's gotten cold already to the same temperature as the milk in the pitcher. And this milk in the pitcher is 48 hours worth of milk. So two days that I've been collecting. And now I stir it just to combine all the milk together and keep it in the fridge and when I'm ready to store it. These are my number one. And also if I'm out and about with my hubby and you know it's been a while since I've breastfed the baby or if I'm gonna actually go out with friends or my mom or somewhere and I know I'm not gonna be breastfeeding, I would just attach both of these on you guys and the milk would just start coming. Like I said, because it has a suction so it does let the milk flow freely. So these, honestly, it's so easy to build a milk stash with these. I sometimes just put these on while the baby's taking a really long nap. I put them on and I start <laughs> washing dishes. I'm folding clothes. I literally do feel like a, like a milking cow, but you guys, it's so easy to build stash with this. Ando aquí en la casa haciendo ser que hacer. And next thing you know, I already accumulated like three ounces just with this. And I feel like this has also kept my milk supply up because I am continually getting some suction without the you know having to actually sit down and pump. Now, the pumping, what I use when I was pumping um, was the Spectra. This is the Spectra, I think S1. I got it on aeroflowpumps.com. I got it with my insurance for free. I'm actually going to link that website down below because you can apply and see if you qualify for a free pump. Um, depending if you have insurance or not, Medicaid, whatever it is that you're on, you can get a breast pump. So that's where I got mine and it only comes in the pink option, which is totally cool because I love pink. Hold on, my baby's crying. Pump. Every night before bed, after a shower, is the best time to pump because putting yourself in like warm water really helps the milk just flow easily. So I would take my, you know, my evening shower and then I would pump. And you can pump 15 to 20 minutes after feeding your baby and your milk will still, you know, you, you can still have a good amount of milk. And 30 minutes before feeding your baby, you can also pump. So don't think like, oh, if I pump, like I'm not gonna have absolutely nothing. Like, no, your body knows to make more milk, you know? And if you have a low supply of milk or if you feel like you wanna up your supply, you can always feed your baby, wait 15, 20 minutes, pump, and keep doing that each time. And it's called power pumping. You're going to get a lot of more milk. So just careful, guys, because you can honestly give yourself oversupply by over too much pumping, and that's not a good thing. Let me tell y'all, not a good thing my freezer could not handle all that milk <laughs> um so also for your freezer stash 
know that you can only keep your milk for six months in a regular freezer like mine but if you have a deep freezer with those big huge freezers um, that are colder you can go a whole year so what I do is I keep all my milk here until I can't fit it anymore then I package it in Ziploc bags and I send it over to my mom and she has a deep freezer eating and staying hydrated is so so important I can't tell you how many times like when I've been dehydrated speaking of that let me drink some water times I've been dehydrated and my milk has been so low even my letdowns like because I've been dehydrated I won't even get half an ounce and I know it's because I'm dehydrated and I haven't had a chance to drink water drinking water also the body armor is like okay guys so on this part of the video I wanted to show y'all my favorite foods that I eat and snacks things I drink to keep my milk supply up starting with milk I drink almond milk almonds nuts are really really good to keep your supply up and to keep your supply coming so i use almond milk to make my atoles to make all my oatmeal to drink coffee coconut milk i use also to make my oatmeal or to make smoothies these body armors you guys they're like gatorade but so much better they have coconut water in them vitamins and i notice when i drink these my milk supply is high I make a lot of more milk than when I don't. So this is my favorite flavor, the orange mango. It tastes really, really good. And I'm just showing y'all here everything that it has. So I get these at Sam's in bulk for like $20. Coconut water, that's my other thing that I stay drinking. I notice a huge difference in my milk supply when I drink coconut water. I at least drink one, one can every three days. Now for snacks, anything with granola is a go. I really like these Nature Valley sweet and salty granola bars. This is my favorite because this one also has the nuts. It has peanuts and almonds with a little bit of dark chocolate. So it kind of gives me a little sugary rush, I guess you can say. And hemp heart, it's good to have healthy fats in your diet because it makes more fat in the milk that can help the baby grow and sustain. So I try to keep healthy fats and hemp hearts is really good. I add it to my oatmeal, to my salads, to my smoothies, and of course, oatmeal. Oatmeal is so important. It does make a difference. So I try to have oatmeal also every single day, whether it be in a smoothie or just plain oatmeal. Um, also, another good form of healthy fiber and fat is chia seeds i also put these in my oatmeal um, nuts that's another good option nuts like i said keeps your milk supply up so i love pecans walnuts almonds i stay eating these throughout the day they're so yummy i love pecans the most um, also flax seed is really good as well to keep your milk supply up so what i normally like to do is i add chia seeds Flax seed and hemp hearts to my oatmeal with either coconut milk or almond milk and I make a big batch for the week to keep in the fridge but these are my must go to snacks you guys that keep my milk supply up are so important I love those things they're like Gatorades but better they have coconut water they have higher electrolytes and vitamins and minerals in there and I love them my favorite is the orange mango the fruit punch and the kiwi strawberry but for sure for sure orange mango bomb.com to me it tastes like a complete sun so good so i stay drinking i'm not drinking water or coconut water i drink a body armor now that's the other thing coconut water coconut water you guys it does wonders for your uh, milk so time i drink coconut water like my boobs will get so engorged because i'm like i guess i'm super hydrated and I, i've made so much milk so that's another thing i do I, i'll drink coconut water maybe every three days just to make sure I'm like properly hydrated and I have a good amount of when it comes to food I stay snacking like all the time because breastfeeding you guys makes me feel so hungry like oh my god I seriously feel like I'm starving all the time so high protein high protein I stay eating this might sound dumb but I stay eating migas and if you're Mexican you know what that is because you need some type of protein and some type of carb to kind of sustain you a little bit and sometimes i need something quick because when you have a newborn baby you guys you don't have that much time in between those two hour increments when they're eat, they want to eat and change and be fed and all that i need something quick and if i don't make like turkey and cheese roll-ups or like a lunchable something real quick that i can just eat 
I literally make migas because you can make migas like so quick and it's protein with the eggs, carbs with the tortillas. I don't eat it every day, but it's something that's a quick snack. I stay eating eggs, period. I eat eggs every single day because again, high protein. I'll boil eggs as well to be able to snack throughout the day. And then anything with oatmeal is a go. So granola bars, I love granola bars, the Nature, Va Nature Valley ones. I love those. I love that they have a little dark chocolate in them because it's just, you know, satisfies any sweet cravings I have. But I also love that it has almonds and peanuts because the nuts are also really, really good for your milk. Almonds, walnuts, pecans, all those really, really help. I add oatmeal to a lot of things. Well, I'll make a big batch of oatmeal throughout the week. So I'll make one like on Monday that way it's in the fridge, ready to go. I don't have to like constantly be cooking it because the baby. So when I have a chance, my hubby's here and he can take care of the baby, I will do a big old batch of oatmeal. Um, I'll either do like cold overnight oats or I'll do the stove top. Like a separate video for my little recipe on my oatmeal. But on my oatmeal, I always, always add all those ingredients that I share, which is the flax seed, the chia seed, um, the hemp hearts. I love adding those three. Hemp hearts is perfect healthy fat. It's good to have a high fat content when you're breastfeeding you guys because the more fat you eat, healthy fats guys, not fast food fats, not bad fats, but when you eat healthy fats like avocado, hemp hearts, um, those type of stuff, nuts, things like that that have a good fat content, they will help sustain your baby a lot more, help your baby gain good healthy weight. So I always increment avocados in my diet. And like I said, in my oatmeal, I put the hemp hearts. Hemp hearts, I love them. They have like a nutty flavor. I put it on top of avocado toast. I put it in my salads and my smoothies. But a good way, an easy way to eat them, like I said, is in the oatmeal. In the oatmeal, I feel like you can sneak everything in there because this oatmeal is such a bland meal that you can really make it taste good with so many. I make my oatmeal with almond milk because, again, nuts is really good. And then again, I only drink almond milk. But I make it with a lot of almond milk. I put stevia or agave syrup to make it taste sweet, cinnamon powder, and then I add the hemp hearts. I add the chia seeds because it has good fiber and also it has a good amount of protein to keep you full. And then I also add the flax seed. The flax seed is really good to help boost milk supply. And to me, it doesn't really taste like anything. So I'll add the flax seed in there. And sometimes to my smoothies, I'll add the same three ingredients chia seed flax seed hemp hearts those are my three things that i always add you know what guys i'm thinking i probably will make the oatmeal in another video because i also made these like little lactation little energy balls maybe i can combine those two recipes they're very similar so i can just do that for you and i'll i'll do those two recipes in another video for you guys and also i'll do like smoothies or something that way we can boost our milk supply together so if you're going to be doing these things you guys to like boost your milk supply it's good to stimulate the milk supply stimulate your breast milk so what you're going to need to stimulate is obviously breastfeed your baby more often also in between feeding your baby use the hackas to kit to catch milk you know just throughout your day whatever this will also tell your body to make a little bit more milk and sometimes like what I would do when I would be in the shower, I would hand express milk, which is just you like pushing milk out. That's when I would be like over engorged and I would have too much milk in the shower. It's always easier, like I said, to like let milk flow. We're gonna stay hydrated, you guys, to eat, eat good food. Because one thing I noticed, like I was having issues with my baby in the beginning with my breast milk, like he was having acid reflux and he was crying a lot. He was super, super gassy. And the doctor was telling me that one, the babies are getting used to being fed through the umbilical cord, straight to the, you know, to their stomach. They weren't having to like process the food down their esophagus into their, you know, intestines and all that stuff. And now you're feeding them through their mouth. So they're learning to eat, to digest all this. So, les va a caer bien, les va a caer mal. Y todo depende like of what you eat. So keep that in mind. That's one thing I feel like has helped me so much to stay eating a very clean diet knowing that what i eat in my body i'm feeding my baby and if i want my baby to grow strong and healthy and have good brain development it's up to me to feed him right when you're breastfeeding your baby you need to implement vitamin d drops into your baby's diet because that's something that babies need in the very beginning it's vitamin d will always 
we all need vitamin D and not in us we are outside and you know we get vitamin D, vitamin D through other sources but babies they don't get vitamin D in our breast milk so at my pediatrician told me to give my baby this uh, vitamin D supplement so what I do is I just like squeeze it out of here and I put it into either um, a bottle if I if my husband's gonna bottle feed the baby or I just kind of like put it in his mouth whenever I'm feeding him on my boob like sideways and also something that else that helped him so much you guys this helped with how fussy he was como le caía la leche like literally I feel like it took a while to kick in I'm not gonna lie maybe like a week and a half but when he started taking these Gerber um, Soothe probiotics I saw a change in him he was so gassy but not as upset from his stomach every single time he ate and also it had to do with my oversupply issue because I was making so much milk in the beginning like and I said like he couldn't handle all that milk like I am yeah, making too much milk or you're making if you're having overabundance of milk your baby is going to fill up on nothing but that for milk and that is going to make your baby gassy it's going to make your baby irritable hungrier because eso no sostiene like that it's just to quench thirst it's not to actually feed and hold your baby you know what i mean it's just like a cup of water basically and they'll be hungry like within 10 15 minutes what i would do to before i would feed my babies i would put these on and let at least two ounces come out of nothing but four milk that thin milk and when i would see it start getting a little thicker like more creamy and white milk i knew that it was ready for my baby to eat so when it comes to my milk sash you guys i keep it in the pitcher let me show you my hackers that it's been in the fridge i've been letting the milk cool so it can come to the same temperature as the one i have in this pitcher in this pitcher i keep it at the very far end of the fridge and you can i don't think you can see really but all this right here is like the fat of the milk so i just basically pour it in you could mix it around mix it at the end of the day so it's fine so I just put it in here, right? So this pitcher method, you guys, you can have for up to 48 hours. Mm -hmm. And this is all the milk I've literally caught in these hackas that I've just been pumping. I mean, just been dumping in here as they've gotten colder. So then at the end of the day, at, at the end of the second day, what I do is I mix it all together. That way I can get the fat, the warm milk, the high milk all together. And then I start putting them in the freezer bag. These are the freezer bags I use. These are the Lansile, or I can't even say it with this brand, but I got them on Amazon. They were cheap and they were high rated. And these, I love them. How many come in here? It's a hundred bags and I literally go through these like crazy. And I just put the date and the amount of milk. I normally do six ounces because I have a very small freezer. I don't have the amount to only freeze four ounces. A lot of people say to only freeze in small amounts because you're going to waste milk. But I don't really mind because I was producing so much milk in the beginning. I feel like I have so much milk that I'm pretty sure it's going to last until my baby turns a year old. Once he starts eating regular food, yada yada, all that stuff. But anyways... So what I do is I'll fill mine up to this to like about right here five and a half ounces or six and when I'm closing it you guys I try to squeeze as much air out of it as possible and then I seal it as tight as possible I go around with a napkin around here to make sure there's no leaks there's nothing like that and then when I lay down in the freezer when I lay down in the freezer I lay it flat as flat as possible like this and then the other one I'll lay it flat like this and I keep interchanging them like that just so they can be as flat as possible and when I'm gonna you know put them away in the Ziploc bag they'll be easy to put away and less bulk so in this clip here guys I'm showing you what I do I've already stirred to combine all of the milk like in the previous clip I wrote on the milk pouch the date how much I'm gonna pour in and the goal is to squeeze out the air when you're closing the little bag that way it is as flat as possible in the freezer and it'll make less bulk 
also as you can see in the background my little hacka is there and that's basically all the little milk residue that i leave to put on my baby's butt when i'm going to change his diaper see so that's what all i do you guys just put it flat so if you're trying to build your milk supply you guys or you want to create a stash um feed your baby more often start pumping if your milk is you feel like it's really going low try to think are you dehydrated also are you still bleeding from you know your postpartum bleeding are you still having that because i would notice too the days that i was bleeding heavily still because i bled till about five weeks um when i was still bleeding heavy those days i would notice a dip in my milk supply like i wasn't producing as much i wasn't catching enough milk and i spoke to my doctor about it and she was saying that usually when you ha when you're breastfeeding and you start to lose blood whether it be period blood or postpartum bleeding your milk supply tends to go down also when you're sick sometimes your milk supply can go down when you're dehydrated your milk supply can go down if you're stressed out your milk supply can go down so try to keep all that in mind and just like don't stress you guys don't stress about it like this your body knows what to do your body is doing what it's meant to do so you know people have women have been doing this for years and years and years like feeding their babies through them so just keep feeding your baby and like i said if your baby's still gaining weight and is still you know looking great making wet diapers poopy diapers then know that he's getting milk he's getting a good amount of milk and also if you're having any trouble with either latching on feeding the baby positioning the baby all that stuff i highly highly recommend you to look in your area for a lactation consult they have a lactation foundation here in houston and it is awesome it is free and you can go there for support and i actually went there when my baby was like two and a half three weeks because i was having that oversupply issue and like he wouldn't latch and he was just crying and crying and i felt so lost you guys and i gained so much knowledge going there and i'm so thankful for them so look in your area you might have a lactation foundation that might be free to you my baby's seven weeks about to be eight weeks old you guys like two months like the time has flown by and i can't believe that i've made it to two months on breastfeeding like it was so hard in the beginning so hard but now it's gotten so much better and now that my baby can just eat comfortably honestly it's the best thing ever the bond that you feel that's something that i just can't like go without like i remember at one point my doctor was like when it when i was having so many problems with the baby his pediatrician that we had seen which i didn't like at the beginning i got another one by the way but she was just like just bottle feed him just be a pumper just pump all that milk like you should be glad you're making so much milk pump all that milk and just feed him bottle you won't have no issues anymore with him crying and being fussy and all that stuff and I just thought like, no dude, like I want that bond with my baby. Breastfeeding your baby creates a bond between the mother and the baby that, you know, I want. So I was like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna stick to my guns and go through with this. So you guys, that is my tips on breastfeeding, how to create a milk stash, things that you should be eating. Um, another little tip that I have is sometimes all the little fat stays in here and I kind of just leave it out out in the open for like 10 10 minutes or so and the fat has disintegrated and kind of came down turned liquidy milk and i'll either throw it back in the pitcher or what i also do is i actually get that little milk that's in there and i just pour it over my baby's butt crazy i know but it's really good for like diaper rash and you'll start to see like your baby might have like some diaper irritation or redness or anything like that because like come on they're wearing a diaper all the time it's like you're wearing a pad every day all day like you get irritated like not good so breast milk is has does wonders for baby skin so i will do that also giving my baby a breast milk bath and that's what i did i would i used some of the milk that was in the pitcher and when my baby was taking a bath i poured enough milk just to make the water cloudy and you guys my baby skin was so soft so soft and he was having lots of dryness all over his face and like his little ears and his butt was all like red and irritated you guys that night and the next day my baby's skin like literally cleared up all the ashiness and like this carapelando that he was having gone the redness on his little booty gone so that's why whenever i'm about to clean these i kind of just let whatever milk's in here it's just like a tiny bit and like i'm gonna change his diaper i just pour it on there on his little booty let it drip onto the diaper close them up and go wash these and awesome awesome breast milk is awesome there's nothing better 
than you feeding your baby you guys stick with it i know it's hard but we're all here to support each other so if you have any questions leave them down in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you would like for me to do the recipes on my oatmeal my lactation cookies and some smoothie recipes let me know that you want to see that and i'll make sure to make that video for you guys anyways i'll talk to you guys later bye